Males, they're hiding in little like, like holes and they call like, Coo, coo, coo. They're calling like, hello. <laughs> uh, yes, he talks. <laughs> He flies with them and he comes back. He knows how to like navigate. Yeah. Hey, beautiful CBPs, welcome to my channel. It's a beautiful day to be alive. I'm Caroline von Petzold. Thank you for tuning in. If you are new here, please smash the subscribe button and the bell and the notification button because I have something really special to show you. So we just had a flight and Hope just came back right there. I wanted to grab a video of him free flying in slow-mo, but it didn't happen because he's all over the place and I was waiting and waiting and waiting. And when I gave up, he guess what he launches off the tree and boom I missed that shot anyway today you read the title I want to talk about the biggest bird and parrot in the world well the biggest bird is um, the ostrich but the biggest parrot flying parrot is the highest in my car But the biggest parrot that's non-flighted is the kaka poo. And I get a lot of people say, oh, love is so big. He's your blue macaw, is so big. And I always say he's the biggest flying parrot in the world and it's, it's right. So basically, there's a bigger parrot in Australia. They are called Kakapu. They're very intelligent creatures. They are amazing creatures. They are almost, they are almost extinct. There's only 122 parrots of Kakapu to this day in this world. But it's really hard because the kakabu has a very like complicated breeding habit and it's not easy because the males they're hiding in little like like holes and they call like coo, coo, coo. they're calling like hello he talks. <laughs> uh yes he talks well, yes i have two of them thank you so much thank you so the male they're hiding in the little like holes and they go and then the, they're trying to attract a female and then the female has to go and look for the male who's calling them boo, boo. and then the female can decide if they want to mate with that male in in his little apartment or if they don't and it's so basically so like like crazy because um if the female doesn't want to mate with that male she moves on to another apartment to another little like a little hole in the dirt <laughs> the kakapu's apartment and then most male never even get to breed at all or mate at all and it's really really hard to get those numbers back up so here are some technical stuff about the kakapu this is an educational video so I'll roll the clip what follows is a brief construction montage it looks very owl-like. Also sometimes goes by the name of owl, owl parrot or night parrot. They are very intelligent and charming birds. Here are 10 fun facts about the kakapu. Number one, 
this bird is the largest parrot in the world that's totally flightless. The kakapoos, they can fly. They have short wings that they use for balancing and support rather than flapping and flying. That's the reason why they always will be prey for rats and other predators like dogs and cats to get killed. The feathers are very soft, but they can't fly, they have no lift. Number two, even though they can't fly, they know how to walk and get around on the ground. Kakapoos has very strong legs, and that makes them excellent hikers and climbers. On the ground, they move very fast. Number three, kakapoos freeze when they are startled. So once there's a predator, their defenses is to freeze in the spot and hope to blend in with the background when danger is near. This works very well with their own predators, like eagles, from the side to hunt, but not when they were introduced to predators from the mainland with the settlers, like rats, cats, and dogs, and wolves. Because they have a parrot smell, and those predators could pick up their scent and many of those beautiful copper poos died and they're easy prey. Number four, they're nocturnal. Kakapoos roost in trees or on the ground during the day and only become active at night. Number five, they smell very sweet. The kakapoos has a very well developed sense of smell and that's because of their nocturnal lifestyle. It also has what describes as the musty sweet odor, kind of like a Amazon parrot. This likely helps the kakapoo to find each other in the forest, but unfortunately it doesn't help them to survive once predators come, because they can find them too and smell them. Number six, they are super sweet and friendly they do not bite. The kakapoos was kept as pets by the early European settlers. And even wild kakapoos are known to approach, climb on and preen people. They are very, very sweet animals. Kakapoos behave with people more like a dog than a bird. It's basically a fluffy, Number seven, they are critically endangered. The kakapoos problem began when the settlers came and they intensifies when the Europeans arrive. Both groups clear large areas of the kakapoos habitat and brought with them predators like cats and rats. And the kakapoos had no defenses against those early predators in the 1980s. And New Zealand Department of Conservation implement a kakapoo recovery program. This plan involved the rounding up and relocation of kakapoos to predator-free islands. The kakapoos are almost extinct, but they are still very critically endangered. As for 2022, there are only 144 kakapoos in the wild in only in New Zealand. Number eight. They are possibly one of the longest lived birds. Kakapoos can live in a very slow pace. Males don't start breeding until they are about four years old and females about six years of age. The life expectancy is over 90 to 100 years. Number nine, kakapoos are sturdy birds. Unlike any other birds, the kakapoos can store large amounts of energy as body fat. They are the world's heaviest and largest parrot at about 24 inches tall and it weighs between 4 to 9 pounds. And number 10, males court the females with a group song and dance. During breeding season, the male kakapoos can walk up to 4 miles to reach a special arena where they compete with each other for the attention of females. Each male digs a little hole in the ground often in the area next to the rock face or banks to help reflect his mating call. 
to attract females, and the males emitted loud, low-frequency booms that can travel as far as three miles. After 20 to 30 booms, they switch to high-pitched metallic clings. The booming and clinging sounds go for eight hours straight every night, and for the duration of two to four months, this is the breeding season. Hey guys, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Go check out my merch, Angelic Parrots, Angelic Parrots. Go also get my book, AngelicParrots.com. This is the only book where you get a free flight education and a bird education in the same pages. And it's nothing like its kind out there. It's one of its kind. You'll find nowhere else so much information about parrot training and parrot free flight than my book. It's one of a kind. It's very, very, very special. Ex It, I, I wrote it for you, for the new generations of free flyers who want to get started and they bird up flying in the air. So go get it, angelicparrots.com. This was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of these videos about the kakapu, hit the like button. Let me know what you think. Comment below and share this video with other people, other bird lovers, so that they have also education about kakapu. I love you guys, and I will see you next time in a new episode of Caroline Von Tanzo. Bye guys. Bye.